Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Balkan Man again. Today I'm gonna show you how me and my friend Faye usually complete uh, host and breakout on the one down difficulty. I think it's a fairly easy heist. Of course it depends on the spawn and everything. But it can it can get messier sometimes. Uh, what I usually do from the start of the heist, I, I'm trying to take at least one hostage from the beginning uh, because uh, if I get down and I'm grey and don't manage to heal myself in order to immediately free myself from the uh, from custody I can easily use my Stockholm Syndrome usually Faye takes the part of killing the first set of cops here when they arrive at uh, the police car it, I think this is uh, his favorite activity on this heist, on this day. And what we usually do, as soon as the moving your car objective triggers, uh, he, he's uh, waiting uh, right next to the car. So he's ready to move it right away. And I'm waiting right next to the van and signal to the driver to move. Now, as I've said, from the previous videos, you know, teasers are uh, the most annoying uh, special cops. Uh. So, if you have the opportunity to kill them, don't hesitate because they can, they can really, really destroy your gameplay. Now, I usually prefer to take uh, this part of the neighborhood, you know, turning the uh, left uh, depends on uh, of course uh, what will be the what will be the obstacles uh, throughout the road but I tend to see that uh, this part of the neighborhood provides a little more cover of course it depends uh, sometimes Maybe not sometimes, maybe almost every time medic bags tend to be wasted. Of course, if you're playing solo with uh, one or two uh, of your friends. Of course, if you're playing with, uh, with four, four players, uh, the medic bag won't be wasted, I guess. Providing uh, not everyone uh, are going down equally. Uh, don't try to keep up with the van's pace because it moves slowly and uh, the cops uh, tend to get very, very close to it in a short amount of time. Just try to run from one cover to the next and wait for the van to stop. I think this time we got a bit luckier with the obstacle spawns. We got uh, uh, was it barriers? Yeah, which had to, which have to be stopped, uh, turned off, turned off uh, by uh, wiring the electricity box. I find uh, the SWAT van the most annoying obstacle because you have to drill the to drill its door and then move it away. I personally like this obstacle because uh, you have to make something like a little bridge for a car to, to, for a van to move. Yeah, I hate these times where when uh, <laughs> almost everyone are down at the same time, but at least one of the AIs were able to help. I did a slight mistake here, I think it's a mistake for me because going back to save one of your allies is not a bad thing, but if he's surrounded by a lot of cops it's not a very good idea to go and get him. Uh, it's best if you stick together with your crew, of course the allies have some hard time keeping up, keep up with you. I think at this point they will go into Kassai because he didn't manage to heal. 
course he was far away from uh, any doctor back. And yeah. Dragon was of course far far away. Yeah, Custard is uh, a term which my friend Faye usually uses when he's going to custody. Uh, so it's up to me and Jacket now. Uh, at this point I'm trying to keep, a bit, uh, keep the cops away from the van and don't get too close to the garage, to the parking lot. Since uh, nobody is going to use the back right now, I mean, it's too far away anyway, so I decided to kill myself again. It's gonna be wasted anyway, so yeah. This is what I do. Even though I'm not great, I just decided to use it. And as soon as you reach this point, you're uh, kind of safe. This uh, little red thingy will provide you with some cover. Uh, if you have, uh, even if you don't have uh, any of your crew into custody, just immediately try to get uh, hostages. There are at least two or three civilians here. Uh, Jacket got down. Uh, he was a little bit far away from me, so I couldn't help him. One of the, ho the civilians is uh, on the ground floor. It's first floor, I think. Yeah, it's a fourth, first floor. And there is one on the second floor. So I think I s I've seen that two civilians can spawn on the first floor. Yeah, Bane says here that uh, the job relies on Hoxton and playing with Hoxton. And <laughs> it's a bit interesting because you, s you break Hoxton out of custody and at the same time you play with Hoxton. But it's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. So if there is a space-time paradox uh, side job, <laughs> you can easily get it. Uh, yeah, here I managed to get uh, my friend Faye out of custody at the last moment before I go down. Uh, he was immediately swan song because he didn't realize I will free him that fast and his hands uh, were, were away from the keyboard. I couldn't save Jacket sadly because uh, the hostage could be traded for Jacket was too far away. And this is where I placed my last doctor back. Faye already deployed his earlier in the heist. Maybe not the best place to place your doctor back, but as I said earlier... Oh, I don't think I've said it already. If, when it comes to survivability, you place it anywhere you need it. Even though you may, you may have a hard time using it later. I tried to find some cover over here. It is best if you are playing with a uh, friend uh, to allocate your uh, actions. For example, one opens the door and the other one provides some cover, such as in this case, Faye is opening the door and I'm trying to provide some cover. Although it, sometimes it's not that easy because they can get all around the area here, we can get crowded and <laughs> It would require a lot of firepower to do that. I believe the computer where which we need to interact with to release the barricade was this one which I, I tried to open. And I was going again at this point so I relied on the concussion grenades to Provide, provide me provide me with some cover so I can heal myself 
Of course, as you can see, <laughs> we're very short on uh, Dr. Bax. So we try to use them as rational as we can, as wisely as we can. What I love to do is when I'm in Swan Song, just use my grenade launcher and kill every cop around me. Of course, I, I'm trying to keep uh, pay attention if uh, one of my teammates are around because I don't want to blow them up too. And this is me being great. And we're out of Dr. Bex. I managed to stay alive throughout this day. I didn't go into custody, happily. I just tried to find some cover. Well, Faye and, uh, and Dragon cleaned the area. Of course, the AIs too. They are great meat, meat shoots. I thought that uh, Faye was grey at this point. I thought I could count on you, wanker. Yep. I stepped away from the door because I saw the two cops and you all, all know that sometimes cop, cops can uh, shoot you even from the smallest gap. <laughs> I moved away from the bulldozer because uh, the light crossbow is not very effective against them. It has a very low rate of fire. And this is where I camped. Nice music, nice music. I try to take this one as a hostage in case I go into custody so I can I could easily free myself. But he didn't give up. He didn't give up. At this point I thought that uh, Faye was going to custody so that's why I ran away and didn't save him. But later, at, at this point I realized that uh, he actually had one more gun before he is into custody. But luckily Dragon was next to him so he picked him up, he helped him. Yeah. And this is where we both were in grey. <laughs> Although he is going to Cassidy, yeah, <laughs> at this point. <laughs> but we see, we, I can safely say that we successfully complete the heist. And this is for the first day, a bit rough, but we managed to complete it. Now to the second day of Hostel Breakout. Here my, Faye, uh, my friend Faye uh, noticed that we had the right amount of Dr. Banks, which was true. If I'm playing with other players on this day, uh, I, li I leave them to go further, because, for example, my friend Faye here is using a uh, Isma shotgun, which has very nice rate of fire. Uh, try to look uh, for some key cards on this floor. They are quite useful. Don't underestimate these weak cops. They're they're pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. Although they look just uh, uh, just as uh, some regular cops, for some reason they're making surprisingly high uh, damage. I don't think they make the same damage as Bronco cops, 
But if you underestimate the situation, you can easily go down. I don't suggest you, I don't advise you to use your key cards on the doors, but if you find yourself in, a, in hard situations, don't hesitate to use them. My friend Faye here uh, made a good point to save uh, our key cards for objectives. He is right, of course. But I usually find this door quite nasty. If it's bounce, of course. It, pro it also provides a good area to cover, to hide uh, hostages, which in my case is good because sometimes I rely on hostages due to the Stockholm Syndrome skill. In case I go into custody, I can quickly go back into the game and help my friends. At least I managed to find one more key card. Try to find uh, where the electric box is and station one of your AIs next to it. It's not like they're going to stop everyone from uh, interacting with it. Cops really, really love to mess with our electricity boxes here. I also try to stay somewhere in that area as well to help Dragon. It's not it's like uh, fatal if you let cops to mess with uh, electric boxes, but it saves you some time. It saves you some time. This area of the map provides some cover, maybe around the desks. Just don't forget that cops uh, can spawn the second floor and can shoot you from the windows. I try to find some cover over here for some reason, or to find some civilians to get this hostage, but <laughs> I quickly found out that it wasn't a good idea to go there. I decided to use my keycard here because not only it, it saved us some time, but the area here is was quite crowded by cops, so it wasn't a good idea to drill. Although I have some drill skills. I made a mistake. Slight mistake here because usually when I'm go down for the second time and uh, I will be great, I try to find the near the nearest the nearby doctor bag and of course use it as soon as I'm up again. Or if there isn't any, I place one as uh, while I'm in uh, Swansong. Sometimes you can get in the dark room. It provides, provides a good cover, I think. But in our case, we didn't have luck because it was filled with tear gas, which of course later it disperses. It disperses. If you're playing with uh, other players, it's good to let them know if they take any of the objective uh, assets such as uh, the hard drive or key card or anything that uh, will be needed for proceeding to the next stage of the heist. To remind them that they have it so they can use it. Because I've seen players uh, taking the objective assets and forgot that they actually took it, took them and uh, they just continue killing cops <laughs> and the rest of the crew is just waiting for that certain player to come along and use the asset. In our case uh, 
who make a good team with Faye. I really like to play with uh, him because he never forgets uh, what the objective is, he never delays anything, he always remembers uh, when he has to use any asset or everything. It's very good to have a good sync with your teammates. As soon as they see cops uh, coming from the ceiling, as in this case, I really like to blow them up. I think at least four or five cops can uh, drop down from the ceiling. I usually like to kill them because I avoid this, uh, situations where the area is crowded. I think we got lucky with the objectives here as well because we have we had very nice uh, spouse. Drilling can be annoying at times, but it's not fatal to wait a bit, especially if you have some juice skills. Don't forget to check your drill. I'm not sure if this drill can breaks if it can break yeah it breaks yeah but uh, not that often I think also be careful when you use your grenade launcher of course if you're close to your teammates you can blow them up as well which is not nice but when it comes to survivability you do everything necessary It's best if you, you and your teammates start looking for the files, it's faster that way. In our case, Faye started uh, with the right side, I started with the left side. This is where the cavalry arrived. It's good uh, to wait for the captain to spawn, then go there and blow him up. Of course you can play the whole heist with him, presented on this day. It's not necessary to get rid of him. But I tend to see the map get crowded, doesn't matter which heist, if he is presented. I couldn't manage to kill myself here due because of the nasty teaser, but I managed to get rid of the captain, which is nice. And that's why I keep my civilians hidden, so I can free myself. As I mentioned earlier, it's good to have players like Faye, for example, uh, to remember that they have the objective asset. For example, he took the case files, so he had to go here and pass them to Huxton. Not me, Huxton, the other Huxton. I placed John Wick here to protect the electricity box.
It's a fairly easy day. The map provides very good cover. <laughs> I managed to take that cop as a hostage before he interacted with the elect electricity box. Usually what I do when I see Cloaker is get ne uh, next to him if he's close enough. Tease him and then headshot kill him. Headshot him. Same as teasers. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect that teaser would surprise me. I tend to focus most uh, mostly on uh, special enemies, such as medics, teasers, cloakers. Of course, if I have, have the opportunity to kill your regular cops, do it. I avoid bulldozers. I leave them to my friend Faye when we play together. You know, he doesn't have any problem killing them because of his Isma. Very nice rate of fire. I think it takes me three or four arrows to kill a bulldozer. With my light, light crossbow. Providing of course that uh, I broke his protective plate on his face with my grenade launcher. When the captain spawns, one easier way to do him is get in that room. Get in that room. Sorry, I was a bit distracted. Get in that room and start throwing some grenades from that window. I noticed that it's easier to deal with him with area attacks, I mean with uh, the granite launcher or granite as a hub. A few times I've been able to get rid of him with just one grenade, grenade with my orbiter by using this tactic I just told you about. I think it's because it's because um, the sh uh, the shields he's using, you know, the special ones. The sh their shields doesn't provide any cover from above, although they're slightly bended at the top. But still, it helps to get rid of him if you're doing aerial attacks. Also, try to keep the same pace as your teammates. Try to stick together, although it's a fairly easy day on this heist. It's good to stick together. If you're gonna rush, just make sure no one is left behind. One of the reasons I don't like using armors is being slow. I believe at this point we were at the last PC which Hoxton had to hack.
I also take my jokers with me because they can distract the cops and let me do my thing, you know, keep me up with objectives and etc. If you're using the crossbow as me, try to head, uh, try to aim for the head. I can guarantee you that if you manage to aim with it and have a 100% success with shooting on their head, you'll kill them. Teasers, medics, clockers, regular cops. All the bulldozers won't be that easy to kill with a single headshot. With the light crossbow. That's why I say that I leave Faye dealing with him. And that's it for this day. Wasn't that hard? The first day was a bit rough. But we managed it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.